What's going to YouTube? Benny here. Today we're going to be showing you guys my team for Foot Champions. The first team that we're going to be using. Possibly, obviously, some changes could be coming in the works, but that all depends how much we can make from this 24k fever points from draft. If you want to see me be playing them drafts, head over to my stream. We've just signed an exclusive e deal with Facebook, and we're going to be streaming all the time over there. So if you want to come hang out in the streams, it's now on Facebook. But yeah, as I said, we're going to be doing that for you. You know, the champs team. This is what it's going to look like. This is how it's going to be. Before we get into it, though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new around here. And just a quick little notice. Sorry about the Boeing. To oh, I can't even remember what they call it. The Boeing 747 or something like that. AKA the Heathrow Airport. AKA my PlayStation. It is on a madness right now. Um, definitely need to get that sorted out. You're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna mention it at the start of every video for a while until I can actually fix it. Maybe I'll just stop complaining about it, stop saying about it, and people might not even notice. But yeah, as I say, sorry about the audio quality regarding that, but let's get into the team and what we are going to be using. As I said, this obviously could change, it really could, um, because it all depends how much coins we can make. Um, I've done some investments in some players and also we've got 24k for draft. So in goal we've got Allison. Best thing about Allison is obviously the links he gives. You get the Van Dijk link and they get the Joe Gomez. Of course, before we get into this, I know my team is crazy paid to win. But if you know about competitive FIFA, you have to be paid to win. You know, you have to put yourself at an advantage. I, I wouldn't even say it's an advantage because every top player does it. You know what I mean? Everyone's putting the money in. So is it really an advantage? At the end of the day, we've all got the same teams when you're at the top, top. It's just the advantage from, let's say, me versus the casual and foot champs. I think that's where the biggest advantage you probably see with me being with a pay to win team. But I think with, when it comes to most pros, most of us all have similar teams and like the competitive players probably have similar teams. A lot of them invest into the year obviously I, i'm at a head start though i do think obviously I'm, I'm not saying i'm not like blessed because i of course i am but i put a lot of my own money into that well all of my own money into this and uh we're basically on uh we're eating noodles this week uh by this week this month we're on ramen noodles for the whole month but yeah as i said alison in goal just a great all-round keeper 86 diving 88 handling 88 85 kicking, 89 reflex and 91 position, just a solid keeper all round. He's actually 6'3", I feel like he's a lot smaller in game, you know, I feel like he's like a 6'1", honestly, but that's actually quite shocking. We've got some made on right back, obviously I need to put chem styles on, I'm very aware of that, um, but I sold them to maximise my coins early on. Nelson Semedo as the right back, 92 pace, 57 shooting, 69 pass and 82 dribbling, 77 pen, 76 physical, 5 foot 10, medium high, 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, he's now at Wolves was at Barcelona last year. If you know about Semedo last year, you know that guy was a beast, man. This guy was unbelievable last year, especially early on in FIFA. You know, a lot of people would do, well, not even early on, but people would do the Nelson Semedo into Messi link, you know, in a 4-5-1, and you wouldn't have to worry about him ever again for chemistry style, for chemistry even. That's what made Nelson Semedo so good, and obviously he was unbelievable in game. And once again, now he's in the Prem, we get different types of links in there. You can obviously, depending on what formation you could play, but you can near enough guarantee you can always get Ronaldo on 8 Ken just using Semedo um, which is obviously a nice little treat for you because you can do all the Prem teams and that's where all the sweaty overpowered players are but yeah Nelson Semedo once comes again in right back great great player to have in your team there's obviously other options like Walker and stuff but for me I always say with my right backs I like them to be able to dribble and be comfortable on the ball and not too stiff I feel like Walker's quite a stiff right back but that's not saying I wouldn't bring Walker into this team I'm gonna be Obviously playing a lot of drafts, so I might actually try out Walker a lot more and might figure out this guy needs to be in because of the defensive stuff he does because defending this year is super hard, so maybe that would make the more defensive wing backs actually a lot better than maybe the the wing backs what can attack and be quite decent on the ball. But that's why uh, at the moment I'm going with Samedo because that's usually how I look for in my wing backs. The centre back partnership we've got Van Dijk Varan. Probably the greatest partnership you can get early on in FIFA without any of the icons involved. And I, honestly, I don't even think until I can get like maybe 92 Maldini or maybe like a, a decent Rio Ferdinand or something like that, I don't actually think it's worth me upgrading these two. I think Van Dijk and Varan. Varan this year is very, very good and it's probably because of how hard it is to defend and obviously him having 82 pace and actually does like I, my complaint with Varan previous year, uh, last year even, was his balance. He seemed like he would get shoulder to shoulder quite often against these players, what he shouldn't have. This year he seems really overpowered and I'm not sure what it is. It might be the pace, it might be the defending. I don't know if the defending's gone up or not, but there's something a little bit different about Rand. Maybe he's just drinking different type of water this year. Who knows? But, but of course, the goat next to him, Van Dijk, you can't build the best team possible, really, 
without a Van Dyke in the defence. The guy's unbelievable. Maybe he's not as good as last year, but he's still very, very good. Uh, another guy who was very good last year and probably once again, not probably, he is very good again this year. 92 pace, 64 shooting, 76 passing, 79 dribbling, 78 defending, 82 physical, Furlan Mendy, 5'11", high high, 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot. On a wing back, on a wing back. Unbelievable stuff, honestly. Definitely worth picking up in your team. Obviously, he's quite expensive, but in my opinion, he's like a go-to uh, when it comes to left back. Of course, you've got the Varane as well. He gives you the hype link, so you don't ever need to worry about chemistry again, really, when it comes to Varane, I believe. Unless, actually, unless you play like a cert formation where it gets like loads of links, but you shouldn't be doing that anyway. But um, Verlan Mandy here, cracking player, definitely recommend. He, as I was mentioning, like with my wing backs, I like them to be decent on the ball, and obviously he brings that. But with Verlan Mandy, he's got quite like a wide build and a big structure to him, and a, a big body type basically is the best way to put it, and that's what makes him super on the defensive side. And that's actually what makes Walker really good as well, because he's got that bigger body type, and uh, that's definitely something to consider. You know, I think that's what makes Vieira, Hulitz, even like Sissoko, for example, you know that you've got them big body body type players. That just makes them super overpowered. Once they get leaner, I feel like they've got that chance of getting bounced about quite often. So, yeah, keep that in mind when you're looking at these players. Obviously, you can get the best of both worlds. They're super up on the ball, like Agile, and then also got the big body type. You've literally got a treat on your hands, and that's what Ronaldo definitely is, but we'll get into him a little bit after. We use using Sissoko at the moment. This is Guy... The guy, I would say, who's probably most likely to get replaced before champs. But he was really good when I used him. It's 78 pace, 63 shooting, 77 pass, 78 dribbling, 77 defending, 89 physical, 6 for 2, high high, freestyle skill moves, freestyle weak for Just a great defensive midfielder. Obviously, he comes up 6 for 2, basically your cheap Vieira, you know. I definitely recommend picking up Sissoko into your team if you're looking for like, that defensive midfielder in the Prem, you know who's like Vieira but obviously not Vieira at the end of the day because Vieira's got that icon power so obviously makes him a little bit better. Going on to the position you can't see though it's Sadio Mane, 4 star, 4 star, high medium, 5 9, 94 pace, 85 shooting, 8 pass, 90 dribble, 76 physical, absolute beast this year, definitely recommend looking to get him into your team at any cost really. Personally I, I would always go for him on weekend though because you have to have Neymar like in your team. Like you know when people get to that stage where they've got like a really good team it's like worth a mil and everyone's very solid in there and then you're like oh what's my next upgrade i need like a superstar on my team that's where like you look for neymar you know and then you're looking to get mané because you have to play him on the opposite side but mané is unbelievable this year especially with how overpowered um through balls are this year man is a great player to pick up into your team four star four star of course just a great just great all round you know very good dribbling good shooting loads of pace you can't really ask for too much we'll go on to the opposite wing here neymar the goat you know what else can I say about my I mention him every year, no matter what. This guy, for me, is top three every year, no matter what, because of how good he feels on the ball. Five star skills, moves, five star weak foot, cost me a mil. I'm not sure what his price is now. I can't believe we didn't get an inform, by the way. That was outrageous by them, even though the team of weeks a bit correct, but he should have definitely got an inform. But 5 9 high medium, 91 pace, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 94 driven. I play him in central cam position. I'm in my 4 2 3 1. I, I'm going to probably put him striker as well if I play 4 4 2. Just unbelievable player man definitely recommend picking Neymar up as your 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 next step up after you get that one mil team you know so look to get Neymar into your team what at any cost really because skill moves as well this year are super important uh, in my opinion as you see his shot power is 80 but I always feel with Neymar he's got like this glitchy shot even though it says like really low shot power he hits it like a rocket a lot of the times especially inside the box so I don't know like is his finishing high or something it's finished his 87, that's pretty decent. Maybe it's something to do with that, I don't know. But it seems like he has a lot more shot power than it does. Maybe that's the actual chem style's working, who knows. On to the other side, we've got Zidane. Obviously, this is the cam. If, if I play 4 2 3 one who plays the left one, you know, the one who plays on that balanced role, who can bring the ball forward. Uh, five star, five star, six foot one, high medium, right foot, 84 pace, 86 shoot, 91 pass, 90 dribble, 73 defense, 81 physical, six foot one. Basically, he's the the guy who I have to go for if I can't afford Hullet, and Hullet's looking ridiculously pricey this year, so Zidane is the guy. We got for 2.8, I was, tr like, the day before I bought him for 2.8, he was like 2.4, but I was still selling all my stuff. As you see now, he seems to be around 2.8, you know, I, maybe I, I pulled the trigger a little bit too early, but I just wanted to get Zidane in my team, um, because I was... I loved him last year and I'm sure he's going to be very good for me again this year. On the left cam roll we've got Mbappe, another great player this year. 5 star skills, 4 star weak but high low, 5'10", 96 pace, 86 shooting, 78 passing, 91 dribble, 
and 76 physical. Great, great player. I think a lot of people might use him striker until they can afford CR7 this year. Um, because he is correct, honestly, that pace and shooting and dribbling is just nuts this year. Five star skills. I think five star skills is a lot more important than five star weak foot this year as well. Because left stick dribble and just dribbling in general, I feel is really slow around the edge of the box. So I think skill moves are going to be useful more than ever. Um, so that's what I'm probably going to be looking. That's why I'm debating to get rid of Mano because I do want that five star skills. But because he's out wide, I might be a, might be alright. I could probably deal with one on four star um, skill moves. But Mbappe, great player. As, as I said, I think a lot of people might be using him as that central striker this year. But he's obviously out wide in this team because we've got the main man up top. CR7, 5-star skills, 4-star weaver, high low, 6 foot 2. This year, he is easily, and it's not even close, the best attacker you can get. Honestly, he feels like team of the year CR7, like in previous years. He is unbelievable. You know like that fake shot cut you can do? Even if somebody's on you, CR7, just, he just goes through them. It's nuts. So, definitely recommend getting CR7 if you can afford him. Of course, he's an expensive purchase. Um, everyone here really is an expensive purchase. But this is my team. This, you know, I put a lot of money and um, points on to get this. So, as you see from his stats, so 7 games, 14 goals, 7 assists. Solid all round. 6 for 2, high low. 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Basically feels like a 5 star weak foot. But as I said, I don't think weak foot actually is too big this year. 89 pace, 93 shooting, 81 passing, 89 dribble, 77 physical. Beast. Honestly, he's going to be my captain this year. Unless I get like Patty V or, you know, like somebody deserves captaincy. But I think CR7 might be him because he's just unbelievable. Honestly, if I was playing um, fantasy football, like on whatever website you want, I would put him as captain every week, no matter who we was playing. Because I'm. He's guaranteed like seven goals a game. Honestly, he is unbelievable. In foot champs, I'm gonna all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna put my hands up now. I'm very sorry if you come up against me if I've got CR7 in my hands because it's broken. He's generally broken in the game. So yeah, definitely recommend picking him up, uh, especially compared to last year where he he was good last year. Um, his goal card, but it sort of died out once obviously the everyone sort of figured the defensive meta out. Um, but this year. Unbelievable player, and as I said, I think five star skills is vital, so I definitely recommend getting him. Of course, this is obviously the more, more expensive squad builders for myself, but keeping more at a cheaper price range, just keep an eye out on some stuff what I'm bringing out on my YouTube. I've sort of got a plan once Foot Champs is coming out of daily uploads, what we're going to be doing. It's going to be involving one, it's going to be like a squad builder series, one's going to be about reviewing your teams and how I can improve it, how I would improve it, and maybe you guys could obviously take my advice how you want. And then also we're going to be doing a like custom tactics and formation guys as well. Then free will constantly be out every week alongside some foot champs content with rewards and so on. So hopefully that is the type of content you guys want to see. There will also be a draft of glory starting on this YouTube. I was going to do it on my second channel, but I think we're going to scrap the second channel. So yeah, that might be something I talk about in a, in a different video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and peace.